When it comes to getting these outs from websites that's not on the Google Play Store, I'm going to show you the most difficult part and that's turning on the developer options on your Chromebook. So after we do this, you'll be good to go to install those apps on websites. So first up, y'all, we have to press and hold the escape key and the refresh button right here. When I say press and hold, we got to press it at the same time and hold it down. Don't let it go until I tell you when. And when you have those two held down, we're going to press the power button here. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to press and hold the refresh button. And then I'm just going to tap the power button. Not hold it, just tap it. It'll go black like you see now. And when the next page comes up, we can release these two buttons. All right, go ahead and release. Next, we're going to press the control key and the D key at the same time. This time, we don't have to press and hold, so it's just like a tap, like we did with the power button. I'm going to go ahead and press the control and D button at the same time, or D key. There we go. And when we get to this screen here, all we have to do is press the enter button. So I'm going to make sure you see the screen and press enter. Okay, so you heard a beep there. Don't be alarmed. That's completely normal. But when we get to this, this screen here, we just have to wait. So it's going to go black. It's going to take a moment. I'm not going to show you everything because I don't want to make this a long video. It's just you watching the computer stream. But just wait. And when mine finishes, I'm gonna come back to you. This is the final stream that you'll get. So your, your, your Chromebook is basically gonna be rebooted. So once you do sign in and all that good stuff, next time you try to install something from a website, there won't be any type of blocks or anything like that. Just keep in mind, they will try their best to stop you from doing this. So you'll get warnings. It, it may seem like it's a security risk, but it's actually not. Anything that's not in the Google Play Store that do have to give you a warning, that's their way of saying, okay, we have nothing to do with this. This is all on you. So if anything happens, it's all on you. That's, that's what they're basically saying. Now you can freely install whatever you like. If you have any questions or if you just want to leave your feedback, leave a comment down below. But besides that, that's all I have for you. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out. I'm out.